Hello and welcome back to the series where I go over the history of every single Minecraft version from early 2009 to the upcoming version 1.19. In this video we will talk about the alpha and beta periods of the game and in the game development world these versions indicate that the game is close to its 1.0 release which is exactly where we'll start in the next episode. Let's begin. We're getting close to 1.0, but we still need to cross the alpha period of the game. Beginning with alpha version 1.0.1, it is the third Secret Friday update. It added iron doors, levers, redstone, redstone ore, redstone torches, stone buttons, wooden pressure plates and stone pressure plates, basically the start of the redstone era for Minecraft. Alpha version 1.0.4 is the fourth Secret Friday update, and it added snow, slippery ice and a winter map type where there would be snowfall and snow layers. There is a 25% chance of this type being automatically selected. The next version added snowballs and a snow block as an addition to this 4th Secret Friday update. Alpha version 1.0.6 was the 5th Secret Friday update, and this time Notch added cacti, yes that is the plural form of cactus, I think, that would damage the player when they touched it. Large trees are now back and there are now boats that you can ride in, even on land. Alpha version 1.0.8, although not being a Secret Friday update, added a lot of new features. It added lever, milk buckets and the cow mob that dropped lever when it died. The milk bucket was at the time unobtainable, so you couldn't yet milk cows. Alpha version 1.0.10 was the first version to re-add multiplayer, although you could only play on Mojang's private server where only certain players were allowed to join. Alpha version 1.0.11, known as Secret Friday 6, added a ton of stuff. It added reeds, an old version of sugarcane, as well as clay, paper, books, bricks and slime balls. The slime mob was added, it would split into smaller slimes when it died, and the smallest ones dropped slime balls when they died and no longer split. Bookshelves, bricks and cacti were changed with new crafting recipes. Alpha version 1.0.13 underscore 01 is a weird version since the Minecraft logo on the menu screen was changed from just saying Minecraft to say 1k in 24h. This of course indicated 1000 in 24 hours which was to celebrate selling 1000 copies in the last 24 hours which at the time was crazy to think about for such a small game. Alpha version 1.0.14 also known as Secret Friday 7 added some well known features. First is the jukebox block, along with two music discs, 13 and Cat, made by C418. Eggs were also added but could not be thrown, minecarts with furnaces and chests were also added, and the chicken mob was finally added as the fourth passive mob in the game. The logo was now back to Minecraft, except due to a bug, the M in the logo was broken and sometimes it was gone. Alpha version 1.0.15 added multiplayer for other servers than only Mojang's private server. This is the first alpha version with full multiplayer functionality. Some server code fixes were added in the following versions, including the banning and kicking commands. Alpha version 1.0.17 is the 8th Secret Friday update. It added chickens, slimes and pigs to multiplayer and made the day and night cycle work there as well. Fences were added, so were spider jockeys, which are skeletons riding spiders. This version also added the chicken's slow falling ability which makes them basically negate fall damage. In the following weeks, Notch fixed a lot of bugs, including an old duplication bug. Moving on to Alpha 1.1.0, the first Alpha 1.1 version, also known as the 9th and last Secret Friday update, but not the last Secret update. The compass was added, lava buckets could now be used as fuel in furnaces, and the inventory of a player was now stored server-side, instead of being a file on the player's computer, and this is very important since inventory hacking was incredibly easy before this change. Notch however could not get enough of his secret updates as the next version, Alpha version 1.1.1 was named Secret Saturday and it was released on a Saturday. This was the 10th and actually final secret update. It added fishing rods which at the time served no purpose and they were stackable. There were also 5 new paintings including some of the most famous ones to date. A major game mechanic, sneaking, was added in this version, yes that is right, before this version there was basically no sneaking in the game. 
as well as a mouse sensitivity option and audio volume sliders. Alpha version 1.2.0 is the next big update. The nether dimension was finally added and with it came a lot of new blocks and mobs. Netherrack, Soul Sand, Glowstone, the Nether Portal, Carved Pumpkins and Jack-O-Lanterns which are pumpkins with light in them. The clock item was added and it indicated the time of day and night. Glowstone dust, raw fish and cooked fish were added as well as the big white ghast mob that shot fireballs at the player. The Pigman, a player like mob with a pig texture and the zombie pigman holding a gold sword. Along with those fish items, the fishing mechanic was implemented and so were many new biomes. The desert and tundra were added to a warm biome and a cold biome, and it is also the first version in which skeletons actually held both and like they still do today. After this massive update, the next few versions fixed a ton of bugs that came with it, as well as refining the new dimension notch just added. Alpha version 1.2.2 added another key feature, being texture packs. Nothing else was really important here, but texture packs are a big part of the game today. The updates after this fixed bugs mostly in multiplayer and changed some textures. Alpha version 1.2.6 added the slash kill command, which actually dealt 500 hearts of damage to the player, making it so they die instantly even if they have a crazy amount of health. We're already at the end of the alpha period. After this, things start going fast, updates are less frequent, but they are larger in size. Prepare for a lot of additions in the beta period of Minecraft. Beta 1.0 added tooltips to the inventory for when the player hovers over an item. It now showed the name of the item, the ID of the item and more information if the item had certain NBT data. Apes were added and a special model for dead mouse with ears was created. Leaf decaying was re-added, eggs could be thrown and there is a small chance of it spawning a baby chicken. Beta 1.2 is a big update and is also the first version of the game released in 2011. January 13th to be specific. Cake was added, so were dispensers, lapis lazuli blocks, lapis lazuli ores, node blocks, sandstone, spruce and birch trees with their according blocks, and new colors of wool, almost nearing the colors we still have today. New items include bones, bone meal, lapis lazuli, cocoa beans, insects, charcoal and many other dyes used to dye leather armor. Sugar was also added and could now be dropped from sugarcane, grey, light grey and black sheep variants were also added and so was the squid mob. It dropped ink sacks and could be milked. This is because the code for the squid was copied over from the cow and someone forgot to edit that properly. Skeletons drop bones, spiders can climb up walls, items were renamed to what we know them today and spawners displayed to the mob they were spawning. Two new biomes got added, taiga where spruce trees, spruce trees, spruce Spruce trees spawned instead of oak trees, and forests where birch trees spawned along oak trees. The screenshot button, F2, was added, and rendering speed was drastically increased. Beta 1.2 underscore 02 made lapis lazuli ores drop lapis lazuli. Beta 1.3 is the next update, it added beds, redstone repeaters and slabs. These slabs were cobblestone slabs, wood slabs and sandstone slabs. The whitelist feature was added and a texture for crying obsidian was added, but this block would only be added in version 1.16. In beta 1.4 locked chests were added as an April Fools joke, it linked to a fake Minecraft store and only generated on April 1st. Cookies were added and healed half a heart, a new mob the wolf was added and players could tame it using a bone, when sneaking on ladders you can now hang still on them, bets set your spawn position, although it is quite broken. Sheep got pink and brown colors which very rarely spawned naturally. Beta 1.5 added the birch sapling, the spruce sapling, the cobweb and two new rails. A detector rail would send out a redstone signal when a minecart drove over it and the powered rail sped up a minecart if it was powered by redstone. Charged creepers were added with powerful explosions and they could be created by hitting a creeper with lightning. Pigs turn into zombie pigmen when hit by lightning. Achievements were added, there weren't that many, and weather was also added. There was rain, snow, and thunderstorms. Statistics were added, pigs dropped cooked pork chops when they were on fire, and old computers were very happy when their performance was highly increased. Moving on, beta 1.6 added the dead bush, found in deserts, grass, and I'm not talking about the grass block, I'm talking about the grass plants, ferns, and trapdoors. 
Maps were also added and with them you could scope out the different biomes. The nether was also added to multiplayer. Beta 1.7 is one of my favorite beta updates, and one of my favorite updates of all time, since it adds pistons and sticky pistons. It also adds shears used to mine and pick up leaves, and it allows you to obtain wool from a sheep without brutally killing it. The silver fish mob was also added but could not spawn and had no AI. Flint and steel was also set as the only way to ignite TNT. Beta 1.8, also known as the Adventure Update, is a major version of the game released on September 14th, 2011. This version heavily shows that Mojang was trying to get the game ready for its official 1.0 release. Here I go naming every new block. Stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, infested stone variants, brick slabs, stone brick slabs, mushroom blocks, melons, melon stems and pumpkin stems, vines, iron bars, glass panes, fence gates, brick stairs and stone brick stairs. New items are raw chicken, cooked chicken, raw beef and cooked beef or steak, ender pearls which at the time had no function, melon seeds, melons, pumpkin seeds and rotten flesh. Cave spiders were added as a smaller variant of the spiders and they can poison the player. The enderman was a new tall mob and at the time it used the zombie sounds, it is able to teleport and destroy blocks. The silver fish was fully implemented and could spawn from infested blocks. Experience orbs are also new entities. The world generation got a massive upgrade, mine shafts were added with wooden planks as support beams, ravines were added so were strongholds and villages, although the latter was not populated yet. Huge mushrooms existed but did not generate naturally, new biomes include oceans, plains, deserts, extreme hills, forests, taigas, swamps and rivers. Flying was added to creative mode, bows now had to be charged before shooting them, and the hunger system was added. Mobs drop experience orbs that add to the new experience bar, there are status effects, regeneration, hunger and poison, unobtainable effects included speed, slowness, haste, mining fatigue, instant health, instant damage, water breathing and nausea. There were also effects that were unobtainable but also non-functional, being strength, weakness, jump boost, resistance, fire resistance, invisibility, blindness and night vision. Sprinting was also added, it could be activated by double tapping the move forward button. Chests have animations and sounds now, a lot of textures were changed and all items that previously restored health now restored the food bar. The human mob was finally removed and the far lands was removed from the game's code. With that we have reached the final beta version. The next big release of the game is 1.0, the first official release of Minecraft. But that's for a different video. For now, I'll thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more of the series or other series that I make, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you're more into data packs or into commands, make sure to subscribe to my second channel where I cover cool data packs and tutorials. Thank you.